people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to touch on this fight because I haven't really seen too many people make videos about this particular matchup. And I'll be honest, this is going to be a, a first here on True School Sports. Because, you know, there's, listen, I'm only one man. I cover a lot of boxing, and there's only so much you can cover. So sometimes fighters slip through the cracks and it may take longer for me to make videos about certain fighters but if they're good enough eventually i get to it and this guy is definitely more than good enough so this is my first time ever making a video about gary antoine russell and i'm very excited to talk, to talk about gary antoine russell because he's a fighter that i've had a chance to watch fight on uh, about on a couple of occasions and i really do like him i do think i, I do rate uh him highly and i and i um I want to make more of an effort to talk about Gary Anton Russell because I feel like he, he's definitely worth talking about. Now, you can say the date. It'll be the co-main event. Say the date, February 26th. Gary Antoine Russell attempts to go 15-0 with 15 knockouts in his first big, big, big step up as he takes on a personal favorite of mine. Anybody who, who really talks boxing with me knows that this guy is actually one of my uh, a fighter that I'm very fond of. I would even say why one of my favorite fighters. Uh, he's taking on Victor the Iceman Postal, the former world champion. You know, uh, in my opinion, one of the most underrated fighters at 140, uh, and doesn't get the credit he deserves. You know, um, I thought he, I thought he beat Jose Ramirez, and they didn't, they didn't give it to him because they were trying to set up that big Josh Taylor fight. But that, that is neither here nor there. This will be the first fight for Victor Postal since the Jose Ramirez fight. In which I thought he looked fantastic. I thought he boxed very well. And you, when we know we talk about Victor the Iceman Postal, we're talking about a fighter with uh, you know good long rangy jab, a guy that's extremely experienced, been in there with the top with the top guys like Matisse and and Terrence Crawford and Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez. So for Gary and Anton Russell to be fighting a guy like this in his 15th fight, it says a lot about him. It says a lot about um, what he thinks of him it says a lot about what pbc thinks about him and his skills and uh look gary russ and gary anton russell has already come out and stated that he's gonna end victor postal in five rounds or less so i'm gonna say this if he just stops victor postal if gary anton russell just stops victor postal that within itself is impressive enough but if he does that in five rounds oh my god these 140 pounders better run for cover they better run, straight run for cover because Gary and Gary Anton Russell's coming up if that happens. Um, Victor Pulse never been stopped. He knows way around the ring. He's been in there with, with really good professional fighters, top level, elite, high class, creme de la creme, top fighters. You know, two of the two guys on the power pound list have fought Victor Pulse, which is uh, Terrence Crawford and Josh Taylor. So, and they couldn't stop him. So, like I said, it'll be a big stand for Gary Anton Russell if he just does it, especially if he does it in five rounds or less. And um, look, man, like I want to I'm going to do a separate video just talking about Gary Russell and getting people more uh, background information on him and just talking about him. So stay tuned for that. But um, just touching on him a little bit on what he, what he brings to the table, Gary Russell, Gary Anton Russell Jr. Because, I've, I've, you know, the, the, the two fights that he's had that really stick out in my mind are uh, his the Javante Santiago fight and the uh, fight against the Panamanian dude uh, Huertas, which I think was his uh, 12th professional fight. Um you know, in both fights, I saw two different fighters. In in, in the in the in the in the Puertas fight, I saw more of like Gary Russell, Gary Anton Russell Jr. implying uh, that more of that that uh, swarmer style, where he's right on top of the opponent, trying to uh, impose his will. But he does it in a way where he's not smothering his work. You know, sometimes like if Sean Porter, if Sean Porter didn't smother his work and was a little more athletic, he you know maybe he'd be like a Gary Russell and Gary Anton Russell because. That's the way he fought in the Huertas fight. Very much on top of him. Very much applying that intelligent pressure. And then ultimately hit him with a right hook that stopped the fight. But a really good pressure fighter in that fight. And then when he fought Santiago, he still stayed in the pocket. But then we saw kind of Gary Anton Russell uh, uh, stepping around him, creating those angles. Kind of like, uh, you know, we see guys like Lomachenko and Chocolatito do where... You know, you're stepping around your opponent to create those new angles and, and it hurt him with big power shots. He was doing a lot of that in the Santiago fight, using his speed, using his angles, using his intelligence. So I've seen, you, if you really watched and paid attention, fight by fight, Gary Anton Russell has shown different dimensions. And I feel like in this fight, he's going to he, he's gonna have to do a little bit of 
both of what I just described in the Huertas fight in the and the um, Santiago fight against a, a, a good young, uh, not young, but a good experienced veteran, former world champion in the Iceman, Victor Postal. Look, Victor Postal is not going to go in there. He's damn sure not going to be intimidated by Gary, Rus Gary Antoine Russell because he's fought all kinds of people. And I, you know, but listen, um, I saw Victor Postal that box very well against Ramirez. I don't think Ramirez is punching like Gary Russell, but you know, Victor Postal is still good enough to go in there and potentially pull off an upset. But uh, but but you know, either way you cut it up, I said I like this fight because of the fact that Gary Anton Russell is someone that people are starting to become very high on. He's fighting a guy that has been a champion who's fought two guys on the pound pound list and Lucas Batiste and Jose Ramirez. So. It's no, uh, it's no, it's no walk in the park for uh, Gary Anton Russell. And look, going from Javante Santiago all the way to Victor Postal, in my opinion, is a is a really big step up. So, uh, if he wins, good on him. If he stops him, good on him. If he actually fulfills his promise and does it in five rounds or less, oh my lord, then I think a star is born. But um, I'm gonna leave it at that. February 26th, Gary Anton Russell versus Victor Postal, a really good fight. Very excited for it. And I, I I'll even go as far as to say, of all the fights. On the schedule, well, main events and undercards. This is probably my top three to five most uh, fights I'm most excited for. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be the co-main event of Chris Colbert versus Roger Gutierrez. You're also gonna have Joe and Acas on the card as well. I'll talk about that more in a separate video. But this deserves its own video because that's how good of a fight I think this is. So, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just Kiff from Daniel. So until next time. Hey guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God bless.